Morning, everybody. Uh, Gary Porter again. I wanted to give you uh, some close-ups of the, the PC board that's totally running, up and running. And uh, so this is what it looks like. And then uh, I want to get in here and give you some close-ups of the of the Hall effect area. Show you how that's done. And this is the regular three-phase connection. I added a wire for the, the third phase. And then, this is what we're working on right now. I've got uh, the rotor here, and I've got some plastic uh, sheets. I've got two, two thicknesses to go between the coils and the magnets in case something goes crazy with the coils. The coils go in the slots, and uh, like that right there, and down. Then I'm using tie wraps to uh, to hold the coils in place, and uh, I'm using these dowels. The dowels are for for winding the coils if I decide to wind them inside this uh, stator, and uh, that's it. Then uh, so it's very, real close. I'm only going to wind a couple more coils, and then I'm going to test them, see what my voltage is, and then we'll base the final coils on that. Uh, Given the fact that there's only radiation uh, traveling through this system from the from the generator, uh, no no charge, no electrons, no heat. Going to be very interesting. I may change the size of my wire to a smaller wire instead of the 17 gauge if I need more turns and more space. Uh, the key here is is this slot right here. Both coils have to go in the same slot. And I'm going to intertwine them so that they're, the flux cuts them both at the same time. And uh, that way, I'll, that way, that I can be additive on all eight coils in series. And uh, I may add some extra coils in there for recharging the battery system. Uh, we'll 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 know more about that pretty soon. Anyway, uh, have a good day.